I always get comments wondering how you're able to beat this world or that world at level 1 and the answer is simple. Just lock your level by clicking the button on your character screen. As to whether or not there's a level cap, there was. Now there isn't anymore because King Zhao removed that. If you're watching this from last time, let me catch you up to speed like it's an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh. I entered Zafaria, I died about 47 times, and beyond that I saved a bunch of children. Also, we're stuck in Africa. Uh, I didn't make any improvements whatsoever. I didn't change much other than spend the amount of gold I, I got from, uh, from fighting stuff. Yeah, so uh, everything we get back, there is no profit to be made. It just gets reinvested for more pain. I'm scared for Bellic. Could either be surprisingly easy or an absolute nightmare. Oh, that I I got something planned for him. Don't worry. It's actually ingenious. Oh, they have 1,500. Wow. Da -da 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 -da. Empowerment. Oh, this dude's just wide open. He wants the insane. Oh yeah, huh? I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I literally forgot we had a death counter. I gotta... I gotta put that up there too. At least mana is a thing again. Yeah, we kinda need mana. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait the fuck? Oh god. Oh my god. Alright. We have to redo this because the other one didn't spawn. We have to make sure we kill both of them, otherwise it doesn't let us go in. One small like mosquito annoyance is having to walk back and forth getting potions. I use potions a lot because we're level 1 and we get hit a lot, and I can't port home to buy them. Now for me though, if you ask like, uh, oh can I have something to eat? I didn't bring my lunch today. I'd be like, yeah sure, why not, have a bite. I don't really mind. You trespass in the halls of the zebra kings of old. You treacherous jackal, I will destroy you. Oh, he's gonna destroy us guys, damn. How's he gonna accomplish that? Yep, alright. Okay, we, we, I, I, I was panicking. Alright, okay. okay. I'm gonna take care of Mr. Flower Weed Tree, and then we'll, we'll get the possess you. This is the first boss to cheat in this world, and unlike the other bosses I fought in Celestia, his is very extreme. Rip meteor cheat? What meteor cheats? He has like meteor cheat? I don't know what cheat he has, but it's not gonna help him. Okay, I see it. I, I see it. Okay, okay buddy. He even has a fidget spinner as a cheat. Okay, just just calm down. Don't do anything stupid and we'll be fine. Please don't fizzle. Or you know you can fizzle, I guess. That's fair. Uh, yeah, uh, this is how it goes. Fizzle two times. And we died, yay. Things haven't really changed all that much aside from the repeating enemies that I have to keep fighting is relying on monstrology minions. They're a bit more useful than regular minions that you get from your class spells because it's basically a carbon copy of an enemy and their moveset. The only problem in this game with minions is you can't control them, so whatever they cast is solely reliant on chance. Whoa! I brought out Finny. 
Oh my god. He's got the drumstick in hand. He says I'm done watching this shit. I'm gonna take it in my own hands. We made it out of Stoner Town. Great. <laughs> You're looking. You're going to have to pray oh. on mercenaries to find out where Belloc's lair is these days. I thought we escaped the rhinos. Why did we go back to the rhinos? Why is this world so obsessed with rhinos? Every single quest is just rhino world. To the tent and see someone who can only be Belloc deep in conversation with Counselor Rasik Pridefall. I told you, Rasik, Metaverse stocks are up 200%. Get rid of those NFTs. We can invest in more Greyhorn mercenary stocks if you'd like. At first, I thought this would be an easy boss since I had everything planned out because everything went well in my mind, but putting it into practice said otherwise. So for this one, this one's a really easy boss, and I'll tell you guys why. Because we have this. This is the key to victory. We have this, we're basically set to win. Doesn't the minion remove dots from him till he's removed? Does he? Well, guess what? The minion's gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. I welcome it with open arms. Give it to me, bring it! Bring it, bitch! I'll send you packing with me if it's the last thing I do. Yeah, Rusty Tinder Spark to the rescue. Honestly, this is like the the best possible choice the minion could have made. The damage over times are the only thing I can do right now. This has been quite a step up in difficulty since this one boss battle took me almost 2 hours on stream. If this is the kind of bosses I have to look forward to in the world going forward, then I, I, I got my workout cut up for me. Anyways, th thank you for watching, feel free to subscribe, a big thank you to my members and to the people who are supporting me. If you want to catch me live, I stream Wednesdays and Fridays 7.30pm PST and Sunday 5.30pm PST. Other than that, thank you again, take care, and I'll see you guys.